I met with Julia Doyle and Kiara Holtz yesterday after practice just to discuss how they're going to get their second win in Big 12 against TCU tonight. We all know that Kiara Holtz is a huge threat as an outside hitter, but right now she is dominating from the serve line. And we just talked about that North Carolina tournament that they had this past weekend. They obviously were very disappointed. Welcome back to the McCaslin Fieldhouse, everyone. We're all tied up at one. It's not every day that Sooner fans get to see their athletes outside of the gym. Well, one of the most anticipated freshmen this year was Marion Hazelwood. After losing All-American Sally McLaurin last year due to graduation, the coaching staff was excited about her becoming part of this team this year. Now, Coach, tonight you got your 200th win. How does that feel? How many? 200. Out of you? Yeah. Wow. Out of you. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you something, okay? You bring a lot of luck here, okay, to be able to get 200 here. Marion Hazelwood is an obvious threat on the court, but did you know why she chose Oklahoma, or do you know her favorite karaoke song? If not, join me in getting to know Marion Hazelwood. Coach, down two sets right now. What adjustments do you have to make at half in order to get back in this game? Well, it looks like we're pretty even, okay, on kills. Like any athlete, Lauren English wakes up every day grateful for the opportunity to play the game she loves. We're very proud of her. You know, she's been playing volleyball, played club volleyball for quite a while. She had a couple injuries in high school. She's torn her ACL twice, and uh, so she had to recover. So for her to be playing on the court like this is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really amazing, and we're very proud of her. But her biggest blessing didn't just come from the court, but through her older brother, Kevin. He's just my best friend, so we've grown up together. I'm two years younger than him, so we were always, it was always us two when we were little. We have uh, four children, and Kevin's our third son, and then, of course, Lauren's the youngest. And, um, you know, Kevin has Down syndrome. He was, you know, obviously born with Down syndrome, and... Um, we didn't know ahead of time that uh, he was that he had Down syndrome until he was born. It was normal to me. He wasn't. I didn't think of him as my brother with Down syndrome. He was just my brother because everything that he did, I did. I think it's been very helpful with Kevin having siblings. Lauren would really take care of Kevin. You know, take take him under her wing and make sure that he was, you know, cared for all the time. Kevin is a living inspiration for Lauren, and because of him, she is not only taking full advantage of all the gifts she has been given, but is more receiving of the lives around her. I'm different because of him, and I'm able to accept other people and um, appreciate so many different things in life. And I'm like, sometimes I think about some of my friends that maybe haven't gone through everything that we've gone through. And I'm like, if they had someone like Kevin, you know, they would be a better person and they would appreciate things. And um, it just gives you a different outlook on life. Very fulfilling to see what a great relationship that they have and that he watches her and, um, you know, wants her to do well. Mm. It's so nice to see the way his, his face lights up, you know, when she, when she looks at him and acknowledges his, his, uh, his attendance at the games. I play ball. You like to watch me play volleyball? Yeah, I play volleyball. Yeah. What is your favorite part about watching Lauren play volleyball? I'm serving. Serving, yeah. Serving. Yeah. I use definitely my motivation because seeing like that what he's able to do, it would just be a shame if I didn't work hard every chance that I got. I mean, I want to I wanna work hard and accomplish things because like some of the things that he can't accomplish, I want to do it like for him.